Have I told you one about the Karen versus the service animal? First, my name's Ronan GT, and I'm a storyteller, and I'm a bit of a petty guy. If you're petty too, you'll fit in just fine over here. But without further ado, story time. This one day, myself and another manager got called to HBA to handle a customer dispute. And when we get there, we find this middle-aged lady with blonde hair with a serious Karen haircut. And she is yelling and being belligerent to this other gentleman who has a service animal. For all the doggo lovers out there, the service animal was a beautiful black lab. Being the bestest boy he could be, given the circumstances. Karen explains to me and the other manager that she wants this guy removed along with his service animal because it's a health and safety issue for her. She's allergic to dogs, she says, and since we sell food, it's a sanitation issue to have animals in the building. Before we can jump in, the gentleman with the dog interjects and says it's a service animal. To which the Karen replies, what service does he provide you? The gentleman explained to her that he's a retired vet and he suffers from PTSD and epilepsy and the dog will signal him before he has a bout with either one. To which the Karen rudely tells him that that's all in his head and it's all made up and he should just take pills for it. And not to make other people who have dog allergies suffer. We explain to the Karen that he is more than welcome to be there with the service animal and that if she doesn't calm down, she's going to be ejected from the building. She's visibly pissed off and she looks at our retired vet and says, you people are always getting special privileges. Now the retired vet was a black gentleman, but he was confused and he asked the question, are you saying you people because I'm black or because I'm a veteran? And to everyone's surprise there, this bitch looks at him and says both. She looks at this man and says, veterans are always getting special privileges. People act like y'all saved the world and most of y'all have never even seen wartime. And in the same tells him that black people are always making up problems that don't exist. Our veteran's pissed at this point, just looks at her and says, fuck you, you dumb bitch. And Karen slaps this man in the face, to which our veteran right hooks this bitch and lays her out in the shampoo aisle. Long story short, the cops get called and she wants to press charges. There were far too many witnesses in that aisle that saw her lay hands on him first, so it was deemed self-defense and she got the assault charge. That's all I got to all the veterans out there. I know some of y'all don't like to be thanked for your service, but for what you do, it's very important. To all the black men and women out there, I think right hooking these racists in the teeth is, is a good idea. I'm, I'm sorry, I said what I said. If y'all stuck around this long, go to the link in my bio and download the three apps that I have there. Each time you download one, it supports my content, it don't cost you a dime. If y'all want to get some Petty Squad merch, head over to the link in my bio as well and check out the new merch store. The June drop won't be there much longer, so get it while you can. I love you beautiful people. Stay petty, and I'll see y'all later.